Did you know the government may soon be able to shut down your car? A new law requiring car manufacturers to install anti-drunk driving tech. You may not have heard about that because when reporters covered the last infrastructure bill. President Biden's biggest domestic accomplishment. Yeah. yeah. There was little mention of an item buried in the bill that includes a requirement that every new American car now must have a device to passively monitor performance of a driver, see if he may be impaired, and then limit vehicle operation. It almost sounds like the domain of science fiction. Congressman Thomas Massey objected. A kill switch in vehicles that would be the judge, the jury, and the executioner on such a fundamental right. But most of Congress went along. Even the regulators haven't decided how the kill switch might work. Will this have cameras inside the car? Will it monitor your eyes? Relax, says USA Today. There's no kill switch at Biden's bill. They didn't read it, because <laughs> it's there. Automotive engineer and former vintage race car driver Lauren Fix points out the problem with USA Today's so-called fact check. The newspaper admits the law requires new cars to have technology that identifies if a driver is impaired and prevents vehicle operation. Apparently, USA Today just didn't like the term kill switch. But it is a kill switch, and groups like Mothers Against Drunk Driving want that. MAD points to Europe, where disturbing. drunk driving detection is already in use. If behavior doesn't improve, an emergency stop is activated. How many lives are going to have to be lost before we can say, all right, let's put this technology in? It would save lives. It's about control, let's be honest. Because once you give that up, you have no more freedom. How do you appeal your conviction when you're sitting at the side of the road with a car that won't run? Who knows where? Stranded. This computer decides you can't drive your vehicle. That's great. Unless someone's having a heart attack, you're trying to get to the hospital, your mother needs your help. The kill switch is just one of several government plans to control how we drive. Some California lawmakers want every new car to have a speed governor. Physically prevents it from going over 10 miles an hour over that speed limit. Good idea, said federal regulators. Let's take it nationwide. But not being able to speed up can be dangerous too. You have to avoid an accident. There's something coming at you. You have to make an adjustment. You can adjust, says the CNN report. If you press this button, you can accelerate beyond the speed limit for 15 seconds. You can press this button, it'll let you go faster. For 15 seconds? But what if and you're trying can to- you find the button? <laughs> right, while you're under stress for whatever situation. Also, the new safety device will require our cars to spy on us. I didn't realize that our cars already do. Nissan, for example, says they can collect information about your sexual activity. Some cars now aim video cameras at passengers. Some listen to passengers. Some intercept your text messages. What do they do with that data? 76% sell it and 56% say they will share your personal information without a court order. I just bought a new car. Nobody told me that this thing was in there. Oh, it's there. Because when you go to buy a new car, you get that really long document that's all digital. Who reads that? The small print says, we're collecting your data. We know everything you're doing in your car and we own it. And there's nothing you can do about it. And now the administration wants more spying to collect more money. Biden's infrastructure bill includes a plan for a tax based on how far you drive. Who would be taxed a certain amount for each mile. I think that shows a lot of promise. A mileage charge seems fair. You're, you're paying for your damage to the road. Correct. But when your car tells the government what you do, what you eat, where you go, how long you're there, it makes it easier for politicians to control you. When you start allowing them to do this, they could say, we don't want you going to buy a firearm. We don't want you to go to that destination, so we're not going to let you start your car. The truth is, it's about control. What do you mean it's about control? They're not controlling me. Well, they can. What, where do you get a bill for your carbon footprint? You know, you're at your maximum for carbon credits. We're not going to let you drive your car today. You can take the train. You can take the electric bus. This is paranoia. Maybe, but so far, everything that I've said about these things, each step keeps coming through. <laughs> Look what they did to the truckers in Canada. When Canadian truckers protested COVID mandates, Canada's government cut them off from their money. If your truck is being used in these protests, your corporate accounts will be frozen. You can't get your money out of your account. They can do anything they want 
when they have your data. So when you think that it sounds so great that they have it for your protection, the truth is it's about control. So far, our government hasn't used its new technology to control us. But politicians have passed laws to start the process. They never reverse these rules. They just keep building on them. She's right about that. They just add more rules. So how do we stop them? I welcome your suggestions in the comments below.